Good evening and thanks for joining us. It's a crime that happens often, but we rarely hear about. The victims usually suffer in silence. But today, a 94-year-old Toronto woman bravely spoke out, telling her story of elder abuse. She let people she trusted into her home, and it wasn't long before they took complete advantage of her. Mike Dorlay reports on a crime we all need to be on the lookout for. A trusting, lonely 94-year-old woman with no family in Toronto to speak of, Norma Marshall was only too eager to accept a friendly new housekeeper into her home. But police say Vera Nunez gave her more than she bargained for, at first offering to cook meals and then literally taking over her apartment. I had the husband and wife and the two children there and... Um, my furniture was all gone, so I didn't really feel at home. The only place I was at home was in my own bedroom. Police allege they sold her furniture and jewelry and stole her life savings, $25,000. The woman um, allowed access to her banking to, um, to the housekeeper. Fortunately, an astute pharmacist sensed something was wrong. Norma was acting erratically. So Selena Chan Ying sent her driver over, who cleverly convinced Nunez's husband he needed to see Norma to finish his delivery. She was so scared. She, 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 she didn't look at me. She was just looking down, whatever I asked her a question, very short answers. I knew straight away that there's something was going on. Chan Ying called the police, who arrested Nunez and her husband, Luis Santos, and charged them with two counts of mischief under $5,000 and mischief interfering with property. If the police did not believe me and uh, didn't go in, I was just going to take Norma away. Financial, physical, emotional, neglect. It's a shocking crime, and unfortunately all too common. An agency advocating for seniors estimates one in ten are victims of elder abuse. Most seniors don't report the abuse. They feel very frightened, they feel ashamed, and so I think the figures are very, very low. Norma Marshall is struggling to understand how she became so vulnerable. She doesn't need much, just money for rent and food, but more than anything, company. And now she wonders how she'll recover. The life savings is one thing, but then what it does to you emotionally is worse. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.